everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today I'm doing like iteration number two slash it'll probably bleed into number three. I don't know. I haven't decided. But I have for my turning your own uh, like well doing custom blanks uh, for your pens and getting your custom pens both blanks that you turn into custom pens. If I could do my words uh, then we would be good. So I have reached out to the three shops. Uh, Lace and Lathe Works, uh, Enablers Outpost, and Leopard Leather Works verified what address to send everything to. So I have packaged up, I have the three blanks for Leopard Leather Works, uh, and I double bagged them inside here. So that way uh, I have the two rounds and then the square in the middle. I put them in one of these, double it up, and then put it in another one so that's well padded and that way I don't have to worry about that coming through. And then I am going to, uh, I always, whenever I send in one of these bubble mailers, I always tape the bottom. Uh, tape the top and then if I feel like the sides are good which the sides are good on these ones I'll tape the bottom I'll tape the top uh, and then I will do the shipping portion uh, and the shipping label I use pirate ship to ship anything uh, because it saves me uh, usually at least a buck or two over going to the post office and I use like a uh, kitchen scale like one of the nice ones it's technically it's like a male scale uh, but as long as you have one that I think I got it off the Amazon or something like that, I don't remember. But I use a scale like that to weigh it so that way you get the accurate weight. And then I have the dimensions of these bubble mailers when they're flat. Uh, so that way I can input that information to get the actual information. So this one is ready to go. Uh, and I labeled it so I know where it's going. Uh, and then I've got the one, the four for Lace and Lathe Works. I didn't want to overstuff these I did put to pad them because I don't have a um, bubble, like the little bubble type, bubble wrap type stuff. So I put two in one, two in the other, and then put those inside here so that way they're padded in here. So those are ready to go to uh, Lace and Lathe Works, which is why I have those labeled. So these two are packaged, ready to go. Uh, and I'll, I haven't paid for anything yet because, you know, I'll pay once I have them shipped to the respective locations. And then these are the ones that are going to go to, uh, Enablers Outpost. Um, and I am in the process of doing how I'm going to have them packaged. I'm verifying that everything will fit properly. So I will probably fit because, yep, everything will fit. I am going to put them in bubble mailers. Um, as best as possible for padding just because I'm like want to make sure they are well padded but it doesn't matter if they're overstuffed in these pad in these bubble mailers I want them to be well like, like they're gonna be well padded but I don't want them rolling around on each other um, I'm not gonna necessarily seal these I just want them to well I will because you know I'm like that type of OCD but that way they're in the bubble mailer um, padded so that way nothing gets lost or anything like that um, then these two are going to go in their own bubble mailer because then the bubble mailer can sit kind of like this uh, on the side because that will basically I'm, I've kind of gotten to be a pro on these because that way it can sit like this and then the last three will be on top and that way all of them will sit evenly in here with the least amount of back and forth. Um, so that's how I'm packing these up. Uh, so that way everything, least amount of rolling around in here, everything's well packed and we are good to go. So now I can go ahead and do this. It'll kind of bow a little bit in the center, but I'll seal the edges very well whenever I do um, one of these flat ray boxes. Uh, I always make sure every seal, every edge is fully sealed uh, on these flat ray boxes because I've shipped stuff and had uh, received them where I'm like lucky that the stuff has actually arrived um, and not. Like some people will have shipped stuff to me, uh, like I get military challenge coins and I'm like, I'm surprised that it actually arrived because they didn't do anything extra besides this. And as you can see, if you don't tape all of these edges, like it's not a very sure way of arriving. So I'll tape all of the edges on something like this. Pain in the butt and Elizabeth's going to love it when she goes to unbox this. Uh, she's going to be like, really Alyssa, you taped every single edge on this? But that's just me. I'm like OCD that way. 
Uh, I like to make sure it's fully every edge sealed. So I'm going to just put right EO on that. So that way I don't, even though I'll be able to tell by the weight um, that these are that. So those are the three. Now I'm going to tape up all of the edges uh, and make sure everything's packaged. Uh, that way I can drop them all off at the post office uh, tomorrow. Uh, I've had uh, mailbox pirates, not porch pirates, but I've had mailbox pirates come and take stuff out of my mailbox when I put the flag up on my mailbox. So I never do that anymore. I always take it directly to the post office and drop it off, but I will do my own labels and everything here at my house. Um, so that way I save money by using pirate ship to do the shipping. So I'm going to do that and mail these off. And then I will update you guys as I do the back and forth and everything from the companies, uh, the respective companies. But I wanted to do that quick update of, hey, this is the next step is packaging them up, shipping them out and go from there.